So we're going to go down here and do a quality check on a small runaround boat. We did, uh, well, we cleaned up somebody else's mess. Uh, the owner had hired, <laughs> I don't know, a guy, an electrician that somebody else said, oh, this guy's good. He's looking for money and he'll do it for cheap. And well, you know, I guess the uh, guy got what he paid for because he called us and they were having all kinds of electrical problems on the boat. And we ended up having to go in and pretty much redo everything that the electrician did and redo it all because um, it wasn't done right. So I'm just going to hop on board here and do a quick check. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. So we changed out the Suzuki gauge, put that one in. I'll have to turn the motor on and check, make sure that all works. I'll hop down here and show you what we did. Let me see if I can back us up here. So both battery trays were broken. So we took those out, put in new ones. I want to upgrade this guy's batteries, but he hasn't let me so far, but we will. Um, there was all kinds of stuff hooked up to these batteries. We didn't know what it really was, so we took all that off. And now it's just grounds here, main battery lug there, battery lug there. And then the only thing hooked up right now to this is the bilge pump, which is that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, we ran all the wiring back over to here. And all this stuff here was all loose and not heat shrinked. And this was not there. We had to install this. And then also the battery switch that was installed was the wrong one. We put inline fuses before and after the charging relay. Um, just redid a bunch of the wiring and did it right. Labeled everything on the fuse block. Nothing was labeled. So, yeah, we're doing a little better in here. Uh, let me uh, go see if we can make it work. Unfortunately, we even have to do at-home projects. We needed some bottom paint for this boat. They had troubles getting it, so I had to go to the West Marine. I just picked up all that paint for Tom, so I'm going to go see if he needs any of it now to continue on with painting the bottom of the boat. Well, I only needed to come and get seven gallons of paint to finish up the bottom. It's looking amazing. You can see he's got one coat on. Let me go see if he needs that paint. Hey Tom, do you need any of that paint I just picked up? Uh, probably use a gallon of it now. Okay, I'll go get it and leave it for you. Is it in the truck? It's in the car. You want me to come get it? Um, I can get it. All right. Looks pretty good over here, huh? Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. That's just me pulling down. Okay. Yeah. Dave brought me in a plant today. All different arrangements, like big ones, small ones. Oh, no kidding. People order them or something? Yeah, pick they, sometimes they want specific ones, sometimes they just want randoms. Oh, cool. And uh, well, like I said, I may nice. have a Airbnb in the Poconos, so I like put a bunch up there. Hey, Amish, what's up? Amish. That's your new nickname. Amish? Amish. Amish or Amish. Amish, Amish, Hamish. Um, however you want to say it. Depends what's on that? where you're from, I guess, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, that, uh, what's that from? Ah, <laughs> it's just a beard. You're scrunchy. I gotta get the, oh uh, no, that's uh, acidic juice. I was like, I gotta get the curly fucking sideburns or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't the right ones. It's wet with something blue, huh? Uh, yeah.
Hey Matt, Amish told me that he's a professional at painting. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's got a masterpiece over here on this side, he said. Rivals Picasso. Hmm? Abstract. Abstract, you cut your ear off? Yeah. I get you up before you do that Looks like Pac-Man's going out for a cruise today. We got the same flavor of music. Hey, yup. City, man. Great food city. Oh, yeah. I miss it too. Where are you from, North Jersey? I left Jersey City, but if you're a Shuby, okay. if you're a Shuby, I, I grew up near Asbury. Oh, okay, Asbury Park. Word up. Thank you. Yep. Anyone get this in? Yep. First thing tomorrow morning, we put this beauty back in the water. We're finishing up the final touches of the bottom right now, and it is ready to go. Let's have the construction begin. He's going to be building a swim platform for the boat since that old one was rotted out. Oh, even a tape measure. Or, or not strong enough, I guess, is the best way to put it. Yeah, very soft. Yeah. It gives too much. Here. Mr. Fix-It's on it, though. So you may have seen the video earlier where we were struggling to get shore power on a couple boats that we have here at the yard. And talking to the electrician for the yard come to find out that their commercial ice house at, in the fish house it's a commercial ice plant the uh, 175 amp breaker was fused so i started looking around and come to find out i found this extension cord for the small boat for the battery charger and the air conditioning was blown open and welded to this cleat right here so this boat also will not accept shore power. So I'm gonna hop up here and check something real quick. So these breakers right here, which are GFI breakers, you're supposed to be able to push these buttons and test them and trip them, but they won't do anything. So at a minimum, these are bad and maybe contactors back in the engine room. Yeah, I know. I can't wait for it to cool off a little bit here in the coming weeks. Oh yeah, we're safe fall. Well, we made great progress on the back of the boat here. Looks like we still got a little more to do, more sanding. We gotta do this whole area. Look, all of this, the steps, and the swim platform over here. Well, look at this little boat. He looks like he's seen better days. Definitely a project boat. He's at the boatyard. Must have sunk or something. Wow. <laughs> Hey James, where are you headed? To get your other car. To what? To get your other car. All right, let's go. Anyways, as always, if you could, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. You guys know the deal. It's YouTube. I appreciate it. Everybody have a good day.